Hello everybody, Beck and Saul here for a brand new series. That's right, we're gonna start playing Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3 on the uh, on Game Boy. For the original Game Boy, the big gray brick one. We have Wario chasing this guy. It's on a pirate ship. Wario looks to be on a little paddle boat. Still caught up to him though. Mario Land, Super Mario Land 3, copyright 1993 Nintendo. This game's almost as old as I am. But, alright, let's jump right in here. Alright, let's just start file A. Yeah, let's go here. We'll start level 1, Rice Beach. Course number 1. Alright, so, it's a uh, sort of like a... Mario platformer here, but uh, we have this dash attack where we can uh, can hit things. You don't kill things by stomping on them. You kill things by uh, dashing into them. Good stuff. Good stuff. So this is a uh, obviously the the third Super Mario Land game. It's Super Mario Land Three Wario Land. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a game I played through a lot of my childhood, actually, on an old Game Boy. Let's get all this stuff down here. So I know my way around this game pretty well. So I grew up playing it. Came out, uh, came out a year after I was born. Pretty much came out in 93. I was born in 92. So, okay. So down here, we have... Oh. oh, I already screwed up. To get that thing, we need a platform like here. Okay. Is there a way to get it like this? No. Alright. Well, I screwed up. Oh well. Alright. Let's go. We'll keep going here. Bam. So when we have these horns, we have this power-up, we have a longer dash, and uh, we have a new power. If we jump and then we hold down, we do a sort of stomping move, and that lets us break blocks underneath us. So we can break through here, get all this stuff, and then we have to leave the platform here so that we can get back out. Otherwise we'd have to go down and back through the little tunnel area we were just in. Go. The enemies blink a lot in this game, and I don't know why that is. It just happens a lot in older games. Things, sprites kind of just blink in and out of existence. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want to land on those things. Those things will eat you. And then here, we actually can't get through this uh, unless we come back later on in the game, after we've done some more stuff. But, uh, yeah. Boom. Alright. Okay. Alright, we're reaching the end of the first level here. And we have a pirate, uh, bird blob thing. Not sure what they are. It opens up the final door, and here it teaches us up and B. So if we up and B, makes this big coin that we can throw. And if we throw it as, at this skull thing with the coin slot up top, it will open the, the end of the level for us. And that's how we finish levels. We have to pay 10 coins to finish a level. Alright. So after you finish a level, you get two games. You get the coin game or the heart game. So let's go ahead and do the coin game. We'll see what happens here. Let's go this one. And, oh, we got 10 tons to the head, so that's going to cut our coins in half. If we, uh, if we get, oh, that's going to cut them in half again. Why? Oh, bad luck. Let's try one more time. We got a third try here. All right, money bag. So that's going to double our coins. Yep. And at any time, you can just hit that exit there. But, all right. And we have a uh, coin collection 
that takes our coins we collect throughout the entire game and counts them here. And then we have the little letter slots there. A through O, we'll use those later on. Let's go up to course number two of Rice Beach. Okay. So here, we have another garlic thing to get a power-up if you didn't already have one. And we had enough points there that we got a one-up off of that. Bam. Wrecked. <laughs> so yeah, so you could use that stomping move on enemies and it'll just crush them. Go. Let's go ahead and take this high road. These platforms are going in and out of existence. And up here. Get a heart. Cool. Let's go in the store. Here's a new power-up for us. It's a little dragon head, and it breathes fire. There's nothing we can do here, because we can't reach that one. These things, if you step on them, they send you flying up. That's why we have to kill the one up here, or else it will send us up into the spikes. Get what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying. Okay. Bam! Okay. And here we have a new enemy. These are only in water. They're kind of the opposite of these things up here that drop on your head. But these ones come up from underneath you. Let's let's watch these guys. Yeah, see they spin and they'll they'll drill you. And our fire turns to arrows under water. Why? I don't know. But, okay. Let's go back to our horns. Here we go. And here we have a checkpoint. So Bam. Now, if we die, we'll respawn right there. Now, there's a little hidden area in this level. Go. That I'm sure a lot of people know about by now, because, come on, this game's over 20 years old. But, uh, okay. So, stop. Go away. Come here, we get the rocket power-up. And this lets us have a, a rocket boost to our dash. And if we go here and we jump up and we rocket boost, there's a little secret area right here. Aw, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that guy killed himself right there. Oh, man, that was cool. Okay. And this is going to give us our horns back. I'd rather not. I like the rocket better. Oh, no. Um... Okay. And then that leaves us way up here. The rest of the level is way underneath us. Well, not way underneath us, because levels I don't think could be too big on the Game Boy. But, uh, yeah, it's it's below us. Uh, oh, man, that guy almost, almost spiked us there. Oh, we didn't get all the coins. Should we try to get all the coins? Let's try to get all the coins. There we go. And that's why I keep the rocket here. Can you imagine trying to do that with the horns? That would be bad. Okay. Yay. Oh god, there's a spiky guy. Now, the, the rest of this level is... Uh, you kind of skip a lot of the level by taking that upward shortcut thing. Oh, come on. Get away from me. There we go. There are some uh, pickups you can get throughout the level, obviously. You do miss out on a lot of you. Take that upper shortcut. See, like this whole area here. Eh, come here. Oh, I was going to try to throw it at the, the guy with the sword, but... Is it a sword? I don't know what it is. It might be just like a, a spear or something. I don't know. Okay. And that's where we came out of before. So we would have come out through here. And then we would have gotten to play through all of this. But we didn't because we took the upper shortcut. Not really shortcut, just an alternate path, I guess. Okay. 
Let's go. Let's not get the fire power up. Okay. Wrecked. Alright. So here, uh, we have an enemy before the end. exit. We don't have an enemy to open the exit for us this time. We gotta do it ourselves. We're at 56 coins. Okay. Now let's try the, uh, the heart game here. So we have the A course, the B course, and the C course. This one costs 100, this one costs 40, this one costs 20. So we don't have too many coins with us right now, so let's go ahead and just try a C course, 20. And this will give us more, uh, heart. Or points that'll help us to power up. Bam! And the object is to throw a... It's to throw a bomb and hit the enemy that's going across. Oh, that had no power to it. Yeah. So you, you notice the uh, bottom left, there's a power. You have to kind of stop it in the dark part. There we go. Hit it. Depending how much power is how far and how fast the bomb will go when you throw it. Oh, barely missed. Oh, we're not doing good. Okay. Alright, hit two out of five. It's not that great. Gave us ten heart heart points, I guess. I don't know what you'd call them. Ten points. I, I guess. Once we hit 99, and then we get one more point that gives us a power up. Or a, a one up, not a power up. Yeah. Go over here. Rice Beach. And you notice this dot is a little different. These dots are just plain white. This one has another circle inside it. So what that means is the course can branch from there. There's two possible exits to this level. Oh god. There's a little hermit crab here. There we go. And this level introduces quicksand, which will sink us and not let us fly up too high, or f swim up quickly. Oh, hermit crab, please. You know, when I was younger and I used to play this, I never realized that it was a hermit crab there. I thought it was this weird creature with like a beak and its eyes on one side of its head. That's what it looked like to me. See it? It's got like a beak. I never realized the back part had like a claw too. It's an interesting sprite, isn't it? I thought it was just a weird creature with a beak for a mouth. Okay, here there's a heart. Yep. Oh god. Oop. And right here there's a drop down, actually. You head down. There's a door. So it leads us to a little area here. And then there's a guy that throws knives at you. Hello. Boom. And yeah, let's go ahead and get the horns. Enough fun is enough fun. So this lets us if we had the the rocket, each charge would be it would crack the blocks first and then the second second charge at them would be the uh we would break them. But with the horns, you can break them in one go. How lovely. Also, let's us stun enemies. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, now we're little Wario. Those guys don't stay stunned for too long. Alright. If we head down here, there should be some power-ups we can get. There's a heart. I think if we head all the way over here. Yeah. There's a garlic that lets us grow to regular Wario. So, if you think I'm having an easy time going through this uh, quicksand here, that's because uh, holding up at the very top of the quicksand will actually help get you out of it quicker. I'm holding up and forward as I'm jumping over the top of the quicksand, so that's really helping. There we go. Get wrecked. I stuck him in a wall. That's the thing you can do in this game. If you're right next to a wall, you can, underwater or under quicksand, you can, uh, stick your enemy in a wall. Okay. So here's the exit. The alternate exit that I was talking about is way up here. And like before, we won't be able to access that until we get a little further in the game and do some more stuff. Let's go ahead and exit this game. 
or exit the this level, not the game, the level. What am I even talking about? Okay. Let's go, let's go. Keep going. I don't want to play a game. I want all my coins to be safe. It is important to keep your coins safe in this game, because at the end of the game, the ending... This game has uh, multiple endings, and the ending you get depends on the number of coins you have. So... Let's go ahead and jump into course number four of Rice Beach here. And we have this block guy following us. Spooky. Okay. So here it's ideal probably to have the the horn power up. I don't know the official name for it. Or if it even has an official name. Who knows? But yeah, you'd be able to break through these blocks quicker if you had the uh the horns. Get it here? No. That's a heart. Okay. Let's go. You just kind of mash B there and go through there. Now we wait for the guy. Where is he? Ah, uh, he's coming. Okay. Just wait for him up here. Let him pass underneath us. And his head is safe. The top of his head is safe. So we can, we can ride on him and safely Okay. And there are bats here that are going to try to hit us while we're on his head. Oh, they're easily jumped over. Okay. Ow. Okay. That power-up gives us the horns automatically. Oh no, we touched the, the spikes. That didn't help at all. That was bad. Let's just head up here. Yeah, let's do the upper path. Screw it. Okay. Here we have to be fast, because he's right on our tail. We've got to do some more clearing of blocks. Oh man, he's coming there on the left. Oh no. Is this another heart? Okay. And it gives us another one here, I think. Yep. Alright, and we head through this door. They're more of the guy, but they're just here. Now, if you if you get them to kill an enemy, they'll drop 10 coins for you. The big coin. So let's try again. Wrecked. Aw, oh, yeah, we got 50 coins. And since this is kind of a, a stressful level and you kind of have to speed through it, it does open the end for you. You don't have to collect 10 coins. But Hey, we got 50. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go ahead and just deposit our 50 coins there. Aw, oh, yeah. And here we have the final level of Rice Beach. The, the boss level, so to speak. But unfortunately, that'll have to wait until next episode. Because we are out of time, so that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.